Hello YouTube, this is DxLinkJ here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a program called the Redstone Simulator. Using this program, you can create schematics of redstone like this. Then you can import them using a different program. I use one called MC Edit into the game. Now, as this program, as you can see, simulates the behavior of redstone, as its name implies. And I'm going to be showing you some of the, the features of this program, some of the tools that you can use, and I'll be showing you some of the designs that I've used using this program. It sounds kind of confusing. Some of the, the things I've built using this program, that's better, to create my computer in Minecraft. So, let's start off with the tools all the tools in this toolbar down here as well as you know your basic ones like new open save and then like export as a picture um, I'm just going to explain the basic tools there are websites like the wiki the minecraft wiki which go into more detail about these but let's start off with this one this is basically just a block oh yes and before I go any further, um, let me say that each block in this in this program represents a block in the real world, and not the real world, in Minecraft. And I don't know if you can see this down here, but it says 30 by 20 by 7. So if I were to put this into the game, this empty space, it would be 30 blocks long by 20 blocks wide by 7 blocks tall. Okay, now back to the tools. This is just a block, just a plain old block in the game. As, yeah. Here is a wire, and when you connect one block of wiring to another, it will, it will go, it will attach like that. It, you can see that. See? And if you create something over something else, like I just did, it deletes it. See, um, here's a torch, and as you can see, this torch is a little bit brighter than this uh, redstone wire. This, because this is, this isn't, this is unpowered, then it's darker. But if I connect it to this torch, it becomes powered, and as you can see, the the wiring becomes lighter, which shows that it's powered. Um, another tool is this which is basically a block with a piece of wiring on top this is a block with a torch on top and this now these these are kinda interesting these two right here now it doesn't really seem like there's much of a difference but this one right here if I if I go up between the layers because right now I'm on layer one and it sh the program shows you the layer you're on plus two layers above it so that does sound kinda confusing but this right here this is actually a blank space with a block above it with a tort with a piece of wiring above it if you go back down this is a piece of wiring under a block I, th I think that's kinda interesting I don't know if anyone else does though um, and this is basically just a torch with a block above it. And that's the the basics right there. There are other things like doors and switches and pressure plates. And but I don't really use those for creating my my computer. Oh, turn red for creating my Minecraft computer and now I'm gonna show you some of the diagrams that I've created to make my computer but this is one of my much simpler designs that I've created this is zero as you might have been able to tell from one of my previous videos um, and it may look the same because I use this redstone simulator program to create this zero schematic which I imported into the game. Now let me show you one of my much more complicated programs. I'll show you the 
programs, I mean schematics. I'll show you the ALU from the previous video. And so you can see how complicated it really is here. Take a look. It's pretty big, pretty complex. And one of the major problems with this program is when you get to bigger file sizes like this, it takes forever to make things. When I had a much smaller file size, much smaller schematic, I would just drag my cursor, drag my mouse, holding right de right the right mouse button down, and it would just create all that. But you can see there's delay, and because of this delay, it takes forever to make something actually useful, which is one of the big problems. I don't know if it's been fixed yet, but it really should be fixed. Um, something else that I enjoy, I think it's kind of funny about this program, is down here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a number that says 11213 with a little redstone picture next to it. Um, basically, this means that if you were to create this in the game, it would take 11,000 redstone to make this, as well as 14,000 torches, which is kind of funny. Um, and as a last note, you can kind of see that this looks, it doesn't look done, my ALU, it looks like it's not finished yet, and that's because it is, I, I scrapped this design and started anew, well, almost anew, kinda, and, well, I'll show you that in the next video. So, thanks for watching, subscribe if you liked it, and... Bye for now.